Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to make yellow lentils idli. Yellow lentils is rich in potassium and iron and lots of benefits for heart and it is easy to digest. Let's start. I have 2 cups of yellow lentil. Soak yellow lentils in the water for minimum 4 hours or overnight. This is the packet of yellow lentils we call moong dal. Let's wash the yellow lentils properly. Let's grind the washed yellow lentils in the grinder. See, I'm not adding a drop of water in it. Make a very smooth paste. Our lentils are ground. Let's check. See our fine paste of yellow lentils. Take a bowl. Add our yellow lentils paste in the bowl. Add 1 cup of diced carrot, 2 green chilies chopped, 1 medium sized onion, 1 teaspoon of salt, 3 tablespoons of yogurt in it. Mix everything well. We need to boil water in the pan for steam. I'm adding one and a half a cup of water in the pan. Let it boil on a high to medium flame. I have this idli mold. I bought it from Amazon. It's not very expensive. You can find it on any Asian shop also. Now we need to grease idli molds. I'm using this oil spray. You can use any type of brush to grease the mold. I don't want our idli stick on the mold. Now I'm adding Eno for fermentation. It is a type of soda we are using here for fermentation. I bought this Eno from Amazon. It is easily available at any Asian grocery shop. After adding Eno, we have to do it quickly. If we wait, the fizz of Eno reduce and the idli will not be good and soft. See, I'm adding idli batter in the idli mold, like this. Our idli is ready to go in a steam. Now, we are going to put our idli mold in the steam for 12 minutes on medium to high flame. If you think you need more water for steam so you can add it. 12 minutes over, let's check our idli. This is the another way to check our idli. We put toothpick in the idli and check if it is clean so that means it's properly cooked. And if it's not, then leave the idli in the steam some more minutes. Take out the idli mold from the pan. Now, at this point, take the idli out from the idli mold. Like this. Our idli is ready to serve. Let's make coconut chutney. Idli is incomplete without coconut chutney. I'll show you how to make chutney. Take the jar of the grinder. Add coconut in the grinder. I bought it from Waitrose. It is easily available at any store. Add 1 tablespoon of roasted daria chana split. 4 pieces of cashew. 1 teaspoon of salt. 1 green chilli. One small piece of ginger. I'm adding one cup of water in it. Let's grind everything. Wow, look at the color of the coconut chutney. I want this much thick. Now we need to prepare tarka for chutney. Take one tablespoon of oil. 
I am adding one teaspoon of mustard seeds and lots of curry leaves. It's up to you how much you want, and a one whole red chilli. Our tarka is ready to go in the chutney. Our idli and coconut chutney is ready to serve. You can see our idli is so soft, like in a sponge. Now I will tell you the traditional style how the people eat the idli. Take a piece of idli and dip it in the chutney, and now eat it. Normally the people eat lots of chutney with idli. I am eating this much only. Mmm. Trust me, it is very delicious and easy to digest, especially for this hot weather. I hope you like my video. Bye for now. Bye bye.